got an AJ Lawson. Yeah, and he's with a friend. They've got a camera that they say they're working on a pro uh, project. Yep, copy that. In route. <laughs> All right, what just happened, AJ? All right, so uh, we tried getting on the main lift uh, to do some other stuff, and the um, lift operators stopped us and said they weren't sure if we could bring the camera on the lift. It's a pretty big camera. It's probably a marketing issue. So we like got over the side. We we're starting to talk to some people and like, yeah, we. we it seems like. Uh, we are in touch with marketing and we've talked to them and they seem excited about what we're doing. And um, so we had a meeting <laughs> with Kyle. Someone's yelling back there. Wow, a little air time. <laughs> uh, we talked to Kyle, He, uh, great guy, head of marketing. He came out and he said we're all good and he would like to do more, which was kind of crazy. We went from like, I don't know if you could do this to like, oh, how can we help you do this? about like just respect like earlier we got stopped because he had a big camera and we weren't didn't know if we were allowed on the lift and then we were just pretty respectful and took our time and and we're able to talk our way through it and actually like turned out to be really positive and i guess in general when you're snowboarding um especially street snowboarding a lot of times you may be riding places where people don't want you to snowboard um sometimes you'd be surprised like i've had scenarios where uh, even like the police are hyped on it and they're like, oh, this is really cool. You guys are doing this. Sometimes they're not. So you just have to be as respectful as you can and just be really nice and kind of kill them with kindness. Um, otherwise, you know, it's just going to get worse for you. And um, I know like I've gotten upset before, like, dude, I'm just trying this. Like, let me do it. Like, it's not a big deal. And a lot of people just don't see it that way. Um, so you just have to maybe um, step away from that thought and have some empathy for like that person maybe they're maybe they're crazy and they just don't like pe seeing people have fun or maybe they're they are really upset if you ride on something that you're not supposed to um but like at the resort you know sometimes you might clash with certain people because someone cut someone off or whatever um just be aware of that try to be respectful of of certain people when you're riding and, and try to let things go and um, it doesn't happen too often, but sometimes you see fights with people. Uh, a lot of times it's maybe a generational thing, like an older person that doesn't really understand how the park works and what the etiquette is. They might be upset if you do something that is normal. Um, but I think that goes a long way to just, it just being like a better person and, and um, trying your best to make things work uh, in everyone's favor. So. That's all I have to say, I guess. Words of wisdom. Yeah, just, just be a good person. Just try to be as good a person. Sometimes it's tough. Sometimes you want to go off on people. Sometimes you want to fight and get on World Star. But uh, just, yeah, try to be a nice person. It's not worth it. Go home, be happy, and go snowboard again. Can you do it again? I don't know what's happening to me. Let's take let's go down a little bit and we'll just I'll stop a couple places, give you guys a couple tell you kind of what I'm looking at in the mornings when we do trail checks and stuff. Oh and, cool. And awesome. Yeah, see how it goes. Right yeah. on. Let's do it. <laughs> I know snowboards usually like pop one foot out when they're riding the lifts up and stuff, but like if a run, you've ever seen like a runaway snowboard or runaway ski man? Yeah. Like that can like torpedoes. really, they're torpedoes yeah. and like these edges, man, they like, uh, 
they can like slice you up. Like I bought sure. a new bought a new pair of Timberland boots the other day, and I had like my skis with me, and I just set it like rested them on the toe, oh, and I no. put this huge. I know, dude. I put this huge gash in them. I was like, damn, dude, that was 150 <laughs> bucks, and they don't even look fresh anymore. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so you know, making sure, and and you know, that kind of even goes into just like making sure like you're good, like drinking water. You know, if you ate something, you're snacking right now. Yeah. Mm. That's solid, dude. So. In the mornings before we open to the public, mountain safety and ski patrol goes up. We always do all trail checks. So we're looking to see if it's groomed, not groomed. We're looking to make sure if there's any hazards, maybe a tree blew down. Right. Um, you know, just things that are gonna, you know, alleviate injuries and people having accidents later on in the day. Um, all the bamboo and stuff that you see around is usually used to mark hazards. Yeah. Or for instance, like these ones running down, those are actually marking our, uh, uh water turrets for snow making so oh, like our sure. hydrants are there so just like the snowmakers know where to plug in when it's right time to go and then as like a patroller too we always will come and we physically touch everything that's out here so we make sure like the bamboos in the ground good make sure these things aren't loose you know what i mean because we'd hate for like one of these to like turn to the side and then someone just yeah. like that's not going to feel good at right. all you know what i mean and then you're getting a toboggan run in the burrito. So, <laughs> I mean, it's fun once, but I wouldn't recommend it twice. So sure. do you get a lot of people who are like, if you stop them, like they kind of get up in your face and they get angry. Like, how would you, um, how do you deal with those type of people? You know, it's kind of, that's a good question, man. And it's really just like a case by case basis. I don't know if you guys uh, saw the video that went viral from Keystone. John, Jonathan Buck or Buckhouse? Yeah. Was that the snowboarder yeah, yeah, that yeah. posted I, it? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, personally, my view is like, I, I don't know the situation and I'm not gonna say that the safety patroller there was in the wrong because I don't know if the guy was speeding, I don't know what it is. Yeah. But I think just like having like a conversation with folks can go a long way, you know what right. I mean? Like, you don't need to be like, hey, get over here, like blowing the whistle, you know, it's just like, Hey man, we're all here to have a good time. Like, this is what you did. This is why it was like, you know, maybe a little dangerous. Like maybe you just like traversed like three runs, didn't look up at all. Right. And you know what I mean? Like you could have just like, and it's like, it's that simple. So really, uh, I think Eldora has a really good mountain safety group as far as like just promoting that. Like we want folks to come and have fun, man. Like we're not trying to be like quote unquote ski cops, which I feel like yellow jackets get that. Yeah. identity sometimes you know like we're just out here to have fun make sure everyone else has fun yeah. and like a lot of the job is like helping folks who are like over trained you know like someone rode the lift up alpen glow to the very top never skied before oh yeah maybe missed the sign at the base that said you know no beginner terrain on this access and you know we just help them get down safely um a lot of separated parties missing you know folks yeah. not sure where they're at they don't have like a rendezvous point which is always good if you're skiing in a group those are six sunglasses, by the way. <laughs> um, and yeah, so just like stuff like that. I don't know. That's kind of my perspective on it, man. Is I uh, I've haven't pulled a pass this year sure, yet, and honestly, I don't much. really plan to. Have you right. ever? You don't want uh, to. No, I mean this is my first year doing it. Okay. I don't want to, man. Like yeah. that's a uh, like I think really that starts to come into play when like let's say like a mountain safety folk like addresses you or like a ski patroller address someone on the staff addresses you and then we get like disrespect back right. you know like i would be highly surprised to ever hear that anyone was like approached in a disrespectful manner like on the initial basis you know what i mean like yeah. hey and it's like easy as just like lifting your goggles up you know what i mean like having like that person to person like hey man like i'm not just like a random dude that you have no idea like who i am kind of yeah, deal yeah. Um, like human connection yeah man you know i mean just like kind of like I said, just having a good time, trying to make sure everyone just goes home at the end of the day and can come back out here tomorrow and ride again. You know yeah. what I mean? But Sweet. Yeah, for sure, man. That's great. You guys want to keep moseying? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. It's cool. It's just kind of rad. Yeah, for sure. I mean, for the most part, I've kind of already, like, I mean, you guys ask good questions. Like, that's this is pretty much it. It's yeah. not anything crazy. And we're on the bunny hill, too, so. <laughs> right. But, uh. We'll ride down. If I see anything else, I'll stop and break it down. And then at night, I'll just get your guys' names at the bottom and put you in for that yeah, raffle. And awesome. Hopefully, you. you guys get that lid pick. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We'll split the board. We'll do. We'll yeah, make it a uh, split board. Yeah, a little we'll half and it. half action. <laughs> yeah. All right. Looks like he's stopping to help someone. So that was like what we were talking about earlier. Is just be respectful. Like we got approached 
something I've never really bit, uh, encountered before. Um, and it was kind of like, oh, well, they're stopping us. This is kind of maybe an inconvenience, but it ended up working out really well. And um, sometimes it's just a misunderstanding. So if you have a good conversation with people, it can go hella far. How do you feel about people using Like, let's say there's a side hit, and... What, are you talking about just hitting booters on the side? Yeah, just like like features, like, let's say, yeah, there's a little jump on the side of the trail, and like, I see it's like clear, and I want to go and like, jump off of it. How do you yeah. feel about that? Um, I mean, I think it's a lot of like, just case by case basis. Like, sure. for instance, this is a bunny, This is a green run, it's called Bunny Fair. Okay. We have a lot of beginners out here. I would probably discourage that here, just because right. you're gaining a lot of speed hitting the booters, you're kind of coming out of the woods, coming into the woods, you're just right. weaving in and out. But I mean, like I said, man, it's a ski resort, we're all out here to have fun. Like, sure. there's a plenty of good natural terrain features on the side of some of these runs. Get after them, dude, right. have a good time. I would encourage you guys to like, have a spotter below, You know, check yeah. your landing, see if you're like, Am I about to send this huge like gap into like some moguls and like yeah. shatter my kneecap or <laughs> like are there folks like sitting down underneath the booter that right. I'm gonna like run into? But if it's clear, man, full send sure. all day, dude. Sick. Hopefully you have health insurance. <laughs> Number one tip: keep yeah. tip, health insurance. Health insurance. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, fellas. Situationally aware is I think what it really boils down to. Right. Is where are you at, where are you at on the mountain, who's around you, who are you riding with? Like kind of like just take into account those things and you're gonna be set up for success and Sick. everyone's gonna freaking have a blast, dude. So for sure. Let's get you guys in on that raffle dog. Cool. Whoa. Thank you, man. This is awesome. No doubt. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Best yeah. tour ever. Man. Maybe you guys can throw that on there and put like a different perspective on yeah i mean mountain safety folks and yeah absolutely uh, uh, yeah i think we get a like a bad rep dude. like this is my first year working out here it's just like i'm just trying to have fun man i want everyone to have a good time yeah. like i'm not trying to bust anyone's balls don't make me look down on the video no like, <laughs> i think we might have a good, good perspective like, yeah i mean i think like that's what i'm saying man i don't know like i think there's there's like a wide range of like mountain safety folks you're gonna yeah. get, but uh, yeah. try to balance each other out. You know, we got some that are heavy on the speeder control, you know what sure. I mean? They're whistling, yeah. they're getting out, they're visible, which is good, you know what I mean? It's good yeah. because it lets yeah. the people know. But then I think it also pays to have interactions such as these where yeah. you kind of just, I mean, just regular person to person, man. Like we're just all out here riding, having a good time. Like, yeah. and it's pretty much that, like, so. So we just got uh, finished doing that safety class with Ryan. Um, yeah, we just kind of wanted to give a different perspective. I know there's been some other vloggers. Uh, I think Jonathan Buckhouse had a, not a great interaction with another resort. Um, but, you know, like I've been snowboarding for a long time. Uh, there's a possibility of getting hurt and you always want people that can help you and on your side. And um, so I always look at them as like a very invaluable resource. Um, but he was saying a lot of cool stuff and it makes sense and you don't want to, I don't want to ever go out and hurt someone with my, my riding. So, um, just being safe on the mountain is, is, is a good idea. And then, uh, just that overall theme of like, just being respectful kind of makes sense, you know? So thanks so much for checking out new friends on a pal day. Another episode in the books, uh, had a great day today. Hopefully maybe you learned some stuff, maybe you had some fun. Uh, maybe you just got to see a different perspective on life. Um, make sure you subscribe and like this video. We want to keep doing these and we want to reach as many people as possible. And uh, leave something in the comments if you want to see us do something. If you have any requests, like I'd love to see that. Um, any tricks you want to learn, anything if you want to ride, like I'd love to ride. That's kind of the whole purpose of this is to connect with new people. And if you want to ride and you live in Colorado, like let's link up, let's take some laps. Um, that'd be hella fun. So. All right, thanks again for checking us out. Mahalo forever. We'll see you later.